Ethernet. Ethernet boyfriend. What's that mean? It means you're somebody's somebody's Ethernet, and you're bigger than them, and then and then and that's called a Ethernet boyfriend. Okay, but what does Ethernet mean? I already told you. I know, but you need to tell me again. Etchinet boyfriend. I know what you're saying, but what does etchinet mean? Etchinet means when somebody's etchinet, and it makes etchinet make it go to the hospital. And Justin been to the hospital a long time ago, and then he didn't cry. What are you talking about? And then he etchinet boyfriend. And etchinet boyfriend to make it more possible to. To make it to their mommies and their daddies. Okay, that is a word I've never heard before. What is your girlfriend's names? Bailey and Caitlin. Are you their Etchinet boyfriend? No, I'm their Etchinet girlfriend. No, you're a boy. They're your girlfriend. Both, yeah. You, they're does, my... does Bailey and what's the other girl's name? Caitlin, do they both know that you're their girlfriend? Not, not Bailey, but Caitlin does. Caitlin knows you're her boyfriend and she's your girlfriend? Yeah. But Bailey don't know? How big is Bailey? About this tall. She's almost four, she's three. But she's just in age. How? What color is her hair? Blonde. What color is Caitlin's? Caitlin's hair? Brown. Hmm. Like Daddy. Who do you like better? Both of them. Which one likes you better? Both of them. Hmm. Bailey's my best friend, so she likes me. Caitlin. Caitlin's is my best friend too. Justin's is my best friend. That's why he's my etchinet boyfriend. <laughs> I don't know what that means. <laughs> he doesn't know that yet. I'm going to kill him. Oh my God. Alrighty. Um, Google it. Come on. I don't even know how to spell it. Just say it. <laughs> Define etchinet. <laughs> <laughs> if it's just someone bigger than you that goes to the hospital and... <laughs> Oh my word. Boy. A long time ago. Where did you get that? Yeah, where did Etchinet. you get that? What, what? Where'd you get that word? In my brain. I believe oh my it. God. That's a scary place, huh? What'd you dream about this morning? Man. Justin going down the toilet. That was yesterday morning. What's this morning? You tell me about a fire. Fire, yeah, fire. Daddy had some weird dreams. Again. And you was hiding from the fire, and and it glows up, and it glows up, and say, ready who not, here I come. You never ever hide from a fire, okay? Why? Because fire will find you. You get, you run away from the fire, unless you're on fire. What do you do when you're on fire? You drop, you stop, drop and roll. And then when you're not on fire no more, who do you call? 911. So you never run from a fire, right? You fill the door and see if it's hot, and if it's hot, you go out the window. Right? Get off the window. Get out the window. You pick up... Oh, I'm not going to go that far. You pick up what? I don't know. Something hard and heavy and bust through the window. Only if there's a fire. Don't do it just for the fun or practice. Daddy All you have to do is holler. I tear his house down. <laughs> I believe him. And how are you going to fix it? I ain't worried about fixing it. It's on fire. <laughs> I tear it down. And then we're going to find a new house? I'm at the door. We're going to get out. Well, really? I promise you.
We're gonna bust the window. Oh, only, the window. only if there's a fire, honey. Only I'll if you hear those wall. smoke alarms. Have you pushed the smoke alarm for him lately so he'd know what it sounds like? Huh? 